തിരുവനന്തപുരത്തെ യു ഡി എഫ് സ്ഥാനാർത്ഥി ശശി തരൂരിന് വോട്ടഭ്യർത്ഥിച്ച് സിനിമാ താരമായ പ്രകാശ് രാജ് ഇടതിൻ്റെ സ്ഥാനാർത്ഥി പന്ന്യൻ രവീന്ദ്രൻ സാധാരണക്കാരനായ ഒരു നല്ല സ്ഥാനാർത്ഥിയാണ് എന്നിരുന്നാലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി നിൽക്കുന്ന പത്തു വർഷത്തെ പരിചയ സമ്പന്നതയുള്ള അറിവുള്ള യു ഡി എഫ് സ്ഥാനാർത്ഥി ശശി തരൂരിന് വേണ്ടി വോട്ട് ചെയ്യുക എന്നും അദ്ദേഹം പറഞ്ഞു you choose a representative of your constituency who will speak for you they come together and will choose a leader now the narrative has changed don't fall trap for this please try to understand a parliamentarian a statesman one of the best spoken malayali who is the pride of this nation don't let him down don't let kerala down i request you to teach these liars a lesson that they can't fool you they fooled you for a decade don't let them fool you i seriously think they should not have given because the left candidate i know him he is a wonderful person a very simple person not a corrupt person but don't get into the trap i request the, i'm not against anybody i'm against this rajao you people should not get into the trap and take a choice for the country don't vote for a political party vote for a person who has stood by you for 10 years and i say this because i can vouch for the integrity of mr shashi tharoor i have always felt that there is a voice there is a sane voice there is a learned voice there is a deeper voice and he is representing me he is representing my aspirations a man who is not broken who is not withered away with this sort of politics whether it's internal or external why would you stop shashi tharoor what is your what is the ego why is he a corrupt is he a corrupt fellow hasn't he stood the time uh, test of time for 10 years no let us not let us not suddenly think he goes our party your party no country is important will you throw away 10 years of experience the footsteps he has made would you just throw what is your problem think of the country we'll think of the states later we will fight between us later let's do our village politics in this country there are 1000 parties and they have their karyakartas we people don't belong to any party we are permanent you also only have to look at the candidate my dream is india should have 40% independent candidates you know at least they will not sell themselves to any political party you look at to the person who has whom you can talk to who will represent who will understand you if he has not done it you ask him you have the power don't talk about political parties i am not with any political parties i am not interested in any political parties i believe in individuals and individual candidates their strength they together may become parties it's okay every ideology in this world as a evolution it has to change it will keep changing we need because it has to be relevant so we can't stick to one ideology and stand it is people's ideology it is what is happening today what are the jobs for the youngsters what is the freedom of expression what is the price rise in this country what are the opportunities for the youngsters where do we have common education system do we have common health isn't this what we want